Hey guys and welcome back to Pro Speed Baseball. Now today I have a very cool and unique video for you guys on something that's not talked about a lot in baseball instruction and it really should be because it's something that's absolutely crucial for developing proper mechanics. So what I'm talking about are camera angles. Now my, my best example for camera angles is one, also one of my biggest pet peeves in baseball instruction and in the game and I'm not like I'm not picking on anybody in, in particular but what I'm talking about mostly are what we see in you know big league games major league games when we watch on TV the camera angle is offset to the left and it's just so for a basic example uh, for a right-handed hitter what you'll see in that camera angle is you're gonna see more of their back just for the mere fact that the camera is on this side of them it's on the, their back side so when you see them load a lot of times you'll see their hands disappear and you'll see their numbers appear toward the camera and that's where a lot of instruction comes from where they say show your numbers to the pitcher now if we look at uh, this hitting the same stance the same load from a proper camera angle being as from a pitcher's point of view where you guys are at now you guys would be where the pitcher is you're going to see a completely different swing you're going to see right here i'm going to take the same load and stride and you're not going to see my hands disappear at all and you're not going to see my numbers but it's the same exact load that i had over here now that's the the crucial difference a camera angle can make in your game and whenever you're analyzing your own swing using a camera it's crucially important to understand that camera angles differentiation can can mess with what you see mechanic wise so what i'm going to show you guys how to do today is how to properly set up the camera for hitting and pitching so that you can get into the same position every single time and that you're not looking at a swing or a pitch from a week ago trying to compare it and you're at a slightly different angle and you know it may look wrong at the first angle look right at the second angle but be the same exact swing or pitch so let's go ahead and get into this so uh, what I'm going to show you how to do first of all is how to move the camera for the down the line for pitching and hitting so what I want to show you real quick this is how we're going to set up the camera in an ideal world our stance is going to be squared to this imaginary line that runs dead through the center of the field so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set my bat down right on my toe line right there and right now for you guys it looks like my left foot's going to be a little bit in front of my right foot so what we're going to do right now is we're going to switch the camera angle to the proper position okay so now I switched the camera angle all I did was I moved the camera from behind home plate to right behind this line that I put down for my bat now when I step up and I put my toes on this line now you're gonna see a completely different looking stance where my feet look like they're really square to this imaginary line that runs up through the center of the field before it looked like my feet were staggered now they look square so like I said that's another really quick example of how a camera angle can show you something completely different than what's actually going on so that's gonna be the first thing that we do when we set up our camera angle for down the line for pitching or hitting and just to clarify down the line is simply this angle from behind the hitter and what we're gonna do is we're gonna simply do exactly what I just did is we're gonna get into this position for pitching or hitting what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw an imaginary line down our hitting stance or we're gonna put a bat down or a tape measure any kind of straight line and we're gonna set the camera up straight behind that line and what we do, what we want to see here is this bat nice and straight we don't want to see the bat turned either way at all we want to see it coming straight off of the camera and that'll be where we set up the camera for down the line so for hitting it's going to look just like this and for pitching we're going to set up our camera like we would for pitching from the stretch and from the stretch it's going to be the same exact thing also the camera height we want the camera height about hip high to about mid torso um, so we want mid high to, to um, cam always for face on and down the line we want about hip high to mid torso right behind this this line that we put on our toes okay now from face on it's going to be much easier we still want that same camera height but all we're going to do is we're going to simply uh, point the camera directly at our chest bone for pitching and hitting so if I'm in my hitting stance we want that camera if you're going to shoot a bullet out of the camera it hit me right in the chest bone okay and if for pitch if for pitching it's going to be the same thing so what you're going to do is come set in your stretch okay and if the arms weren't there the camera would be hitting you right in the chest bone okay so that's going to be the camera angle for down the line and face on now guys if you follow these really really simple instructions for camera setup you're going to be able to maximize your time that you work on camera and you're not going to be looking at different swings 
that are the same thing or different because you won't really know. Now, every single time you look at a swing or a pitch, your camera will be in the same exact spot every time and you'll be able to really have an edge on anybody else who's trying to use the camera because you know you're going to be making the right changes because you're going to be seeing the same angles and different positions when you're trying to make them. Now, I'm really glad you guys tuned into this video because this is a really important one that doesn't have a lot to do with you know mechanics and stuff but it's crucially important for getting better every single time you practice and if you guys haven't already go ahead and check out one of our power hitting or pitching series and you can click on either one of these links or in the preview that's at the end of this video uh, you can click on the link that pops up in that preview or the description below and these are premium videos that you can only see if you go to these links now if you click on the link and it takes you to a place you can see that video plus the entire series absolutely free of charge. Check that out, let me know what you think. You guys, any questions or comments on anything of this nature, leave them in the comment section below. I'll be sure to get to them personally. And if you guys could, like always, make sure you like and subscribe, plus one this video on Google. That really helps me grow the channel. And thank you so much again for watching, guys. Good luck with your games, and I'll see you guys soon. Our body's the engine, it's gonna be the thing that gets us a lot of power. And the reason, the most common reason of casting is because we get these shoulders spun right here and what we have to do now is rip the shoulders open to get our hands back to the, the ball and we can cre create centrifugal force and now our hands have to go away from our body to get to the ball. Now to fix this, the first thing we're going to